there! Today I'm going to be doing a review slash packing video on the Little Unicorn Rambler. This is in the color gray. Um, I haven't seen many reviews um, or videos on this bag, so I thought I'd do one of my own. I purchased this bag a few months back. I want to say it's been about four or five months, maybe even more. But um, again, I hadn't seen any reviews, but I've um, you know, seen them on Instagram and I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. Honestly, this has to be my, um, most used daily bag. I love it because of all the pockets and it looks, um, it, it doesn't look like a diaper bag. So I can definitely see using this bag after my kids are out of, um, uh, diapers. So let me just go ahead and show you the features of the bag right here in the front. <clears throat> we just have two magnetic closure pockets and I like how strong the magnets are they just um, I haven't had any issues with that at all and the nice detailing on the pockets is really cute with the buckles then we have this long zipper right here on the top and um, it, this um, zipper does glide open with I haven't had any issues with this either um, I do like the little detailing on this bag the Hardware all says LU for Little Unicorn. Right here in the front, um, in this pocket, I just have my iPad mini. Oh. And as you can see, the whole pocket is lined, which I really like. So, this would be great for iPads, for electronics, phones. That pocket would be great for that. Again, um, if you were to use it um, when your kids are out of diaper bags, I mean, when you're out of diaper bags, but they're out of diapers, this would be great um, as a work bag, too, I believe. All right, let's close it up. This is a messenger-style bag, and I do like, <laughs> I call these the ears, you know, like bunny ears. This flap reminds me of bunny ears, but I do like that the zipper goes all the way along the top. It is messenger-style. And it adjusts really nicely. It gets really, really big. Let me see if I can. And I actually have it at the shortest setting. Well, pretty much. And um, I like to wear it like that. Again, we have the nice LU hardware on here. It is. It does have silver hardware. And just the detailing on here is really cute. Um, if you needed the straps shorter, I'm sure you can probably unstitch this and find a way to make this drop even shorter. Of course right here I just have my Arm & Hammer diaper baggies attached to it. All right, And then right here on the front we have the little unicorn label. Alright so let me just show you guys what's in here. In this pocket right here I just have my perfect, uh, perfectly posh little Starkey hand cream. Which if you guys know I, I love that cream. And then I have my flashlight. I have a pack of tissues. And then I have my earbuds. Yep, that's all that's in there. And I do like that it is lined. Um, it is lined with stripes. It's really cute. <clears throat> in this pocket right here, I just have my wallet. And this is my Michael Kors wallet. And I, I do like that it, it goes kind of really nice with this bag. <laughs> a side plus, right? And then I have attached to the little um, key ring right here. I just have my coin purse. Well, I just have a coin purse, which I thought was really cute. And it just has a bunch of coins in there. Then if I turn the bag around, on this side we have one pocket right here. And in this pocket... I just have a bunch of cookies for my little ones. They love these cookies. And I can fit two of them quite nicely in here. And I still have room. I can probably fit um, a small set piece right on top. And then that brings us around the back. In the back right here, of course, we have um, this little button right here. And again, it's it has LU. And it's just the small detailing of this bag that makes it so nice. Then in the back right here, it did come with a change pad, but the change pad um, I did I didn't find very useful at all. It was just way too small. I don't, I don't even think I could use it for my newborn. But um, 
But you guys know I don't use my change pads anyhow. I always use disposable ones, so it didn't make a difference to me. Anyways, right here in the back, I just keep my most used wipes. And if you guys can see, the whole um, in interior is lined and it is wipeable. So I just have my Johnson's hand and face wipes, my wet ones, my boogie wipes. And then I have um, these Cottonelle Fresh Care. Um, these are the flushable wipes. And I like that because if we are not near, I mean, they're handy to use. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> All right. So this pocket right here, we have my stroller clips. And you guys have probably seen these stroller clips in other videos. I really, really like these clips. Um, and I use them for pretty much most of my other bags as well. Then we have my small set piece. And in here, this is my mini med kit. Um, I've come to terms that I don't need to carry my whole medicine cabinet with me. So these are, this is pretty much my essentials. Now my twins are 17 months. And um, I normally just pack their inhalers, which I need. Whoops. Because I, I don't want to be any bear without their inhalers and have to need it. And then I have this small little pouch. Um, and in here I just keep a bunch of band-aids and neosporin. Some stickers in the back, some alcohol wipes. And that's pretty much it. And then on the bottom right here I just have a, um, nail clippers. I have found that maybe I was carrying way too much before. Um, and it's okay for me to not carry that much. I'm just trying to minimize what goes in the bag. Oh, while I'm here, I do want to show you guys. If you were to use these pockets as bottle pockets, um, let me see if I can grab my bottles out of here. Uh, let's get it open. <laughs> All right. So I will I will get back to that pocket. I will show you how um, I am able to fit um, bottles in this pocket. Again, the one side of it is lined. The other side is canvas. So this is the inside view of my bag. And I think it's pretty. <laughs> it's, not, um, it's not too babyish that you can't use it um, after, you know, you, the kids are out of diapers. So right here... We have one bottle pocket, and in here I have my Tommy Tippy. On the other side, I have another bottle pocket, and I have my 10-ounce nuke bottle. Alright, and then right here on the top, I just have a medium jujube set piece. And I believe this is in the print Scarlet Petals. <clears throat> and this is my mommy bag, pretty much. All my stuff that I carry with me is in here. So I just have some Motrin and mommy medicines in there, um, my perfume roller, I have a pack of gum, and then I have a small Dancing Dahlia's um, set piece, which I think goes really nice with Scarlet Petals, um, but I use this for my kids' insurance cards and pretty much all of our insurance cards. Then I just have my As, as Good As Gold um, Posh Stick, which is really good for um, dry skin. And then I have just some lip gloss, some lip conditioner, my MAC lipstick, pencil sharpener. And then I have my Flower Beauty lipstick, my kids' earbuds. Oh, I have pictures of my... I, always, I like to carry pictures of my kids with me. And then um, a foundation sample. And then I have the Yes to Go, um, Yes to Cucumbers um, makeup remover pads. And I like these mini ones because they can fit in here. I have my battery, extra battery for my phone, extra battery for the kids' iPod, uh, sorry, iPads, iPods, toothbrush, travel toothbrush, some toothpaste, some hair clips, another hair, um, nail clipper, tampon, and what is this down here? Okay, and then just my eye pencil. And all of that fit in this medium set piece. Alright. 
So then back here in, in this pocket, I have my large set piece. And in here, I just have extra clothes for the kiddos. I just have an extra... I have socks for them. It is um, starting to get chilly around here. Um, extra shirts and then extra um, bottoms. One outfit for each kid. Alright, so now in the this pocket right here, so there's two pockets. One, two. In the second one, I have my custom um, Quicklet. This was made by... Let me think. This, these were made by... Um, Little E Designs, and you can find her shop on Etsy. And in here I just have a bunch of toys for my um, kids. Um, then right here I have, um, I put my Quick right here in the center. So in my Jujube B Quick in the same Scarlet Petals um, print. Alright. In here are all their diapering needs. So I have, um, I normally keep four diapers with me. So there's one, two change pads. And these are the disposable ones that I use. Um, then I have one, two, three, four size five Huggies diapers. And then I have my, of course I have my Honest Healing Balm. And then I have um, Baby Annex, um hand sanitizer. And then right here in the front, I have my custom booty pod um, cover. And again, it was made by Custom E Designs on Etsy. Really sweet to work with. And I really like that um, they are designed for the new uh, 4.0 booty pods. So they work really, really... Um, I, I like that they are not that snug like my other ones were. I really like this print, though. Alright, so I'm going to turn the bag around and show you guys... There is another pocket on this side, and in here, I have another custom Quicklet. And again, it was made by Little E Designs on Etsy. And in here, I just have, oh, try and get it open. I just have a bunch of snacks. I got some cheddar bunnies. I guess I can pull them out. Got some uh, yogurt raisins, some cheddar bunnies. I have two of those. And then I have these um, Fiber One Cheesecake Bars. These are really yummy. <laughs> um, I have some Velveeta crackers. Biscuits. And then on the bottom I just have fruit snacks. And spoons. And that's it. And it all fit in here. Alright, so I'm going to um, show you guys what there's a zippered pocket right here as well. And um, I like this zippered pocket because I can hide things in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open it with one hand though. Okay. So in this zippered pocket, it goes to the length of the bag. And the inside is very slouchy. So I think that's probably why I like it. I can, um, I can get around to fitting more stuff in here because of its slouchiness. Does that make sense? <laughs> Anyways, I just have a small uh, little pouch that I got from Hobby Lobby. And let me see if I can find my small set piece. Alright, so compared, it's relative, it's almost the same size as a small set piece. Uh, yeah, just a, a tad bit bigger. But just a tad bit bigger, but um, in here I just keep their bibs and extra table toppers, uh, the disposable ones. That way, um, if I do need it, it is here and it's available. And I just have, you know, one bib for each. Those are the Jujube B Neats. I think they're my favorite um, bibs so far. <clears throat> And then, of course, you guys have probably seen this before. It's my custom piece. Um, and I just have a bunch of lollipops in here. I just refilled it with some more dum-dums. And then all the way on... Oh, and then I have, an, I have a granola bar. <laughs> yep, and that's it. That's all I have in here. Okay, so I did want to show you guys the pockets. Alright, so if I open it up all the way... Let me grab the bottle. 
So this is the 10 ounce nuke bottle. Now if I, I, I would not be able to close this um, if I were to put the bottles in here rather than inside the bag. But the Tommy Tippy bottle, because they're wider and shorter, they fit perfectly. So depending on which bottle you use, you can use the side pockets as how I have it or you can use it as um, bottle pockets. But I did want to show you guys that. Anyhow, I'm just going to bring it right around the front. And, and that is the little unicorn rambler. I hope you guys found this review helpful and I'm sorry it's um all over the place. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, if you did, please like and subscribe and I will be um, doing some more videos soon. Thanks. Bye.